We're doing it. Yes. Hello and welcome back to the shop, my friends. Today is part two of our HHO generator build. And we're putting together the, uh, the torch, the bubbler, and the power supply for this thing. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna be drilling a hole in the lid right here. And then I have one of these, which is the MIG tip, which we're gonna get right in here. And then we're gonna solder this together. That'll be step one. It's okay, we can clean it up later. Nice. I'm gonna put a leather wrap on here too. Okay, so here is the bubbler, or what is going to be the bubbler. I guess before I get started on this, I should explain what it does. This tank here produces hydrogen and oxygen gas, which is very flammable. And so what we're gonna be doing with the gas is we're pumping it through this tube, through the bubbler, and into our torch, right? And then we'll be using it to braise and melt and whatever else I feel like doing. Now, the problem is if the, the torch has a backfire, right, where the, the flame travels from the tip all the way through the steel wool inside into the hose. Um, if we don't have some kind of a flashback arrestor like this bubbler, that spark is going to shoot all the way through the tube, up the hose, into the tank, and uh, it's a little hard to see, but the water line is right about here. So that's an inch and a half, maybe two inches of, of space here completely full of hydrogen and oxygen gas. So if that spark makes it all the way back into here, this thing is gonna explode and um, <laughs> there's probably gonna be a hole in the garage. So we're gonna avoid that by adding a bubbler, which means we're gonna have a hose coming into this, sorry, we're gonna have a hose coming into this jar, right? We're gonna have the lid on top, the lid will be here. We're gonna have the hose coming in like so and then a nozzle in there so that the um, the gas gets pumped through the tube into the jar, bubbles up, and then from where it bubbles up, it gets pushed into the torch. And that way we can make sure we don't blow this thing up.
Okie doke. So, I have the bubbler done. Uh, I guess I'll get started on the electric stuff because without a power supply, we won't be able to test this tank properly. Here's our power supply. Uh, here's what we're working with. Uh, we got a 12 volt, 30 amp power supply good for uh, 360 watts of power, which might be a bit overkill, maybe? <laughs> I'm not fully sure. For now, what we're gonna do is hook up uh, a power cable running off of uh, 110 AC. And then we need to hook up uh, three cables to each of these terminals. And that will give us our 12 volt DC output, which we hook up to these two contacts right here. Uh, I have a toggle switch. I have two actually. Where's the other one? In the box here. Second one here and a, a box to house it all in. And that is how we're gonna power this thing, hopefully. had a bit of an issue because the setup here needs to go somewhere. Um, so what I did was I built a box, a little <laughs> carry handle. We're gonna put this whole array on the side and that lets us run power to here in a fairly contained and portable way. conduct a little bit of a test so I've got everything uh, wired up slip the switch Did it work is there anything happening flip the other one are you kidding me <laughs> no all right I messed with something on there don't know what it did we'll find out <gasps> it worked works it's working Kind of? It worked for a second. I don't understand because when I turn it on for a second, it goes and then cuts out. There is something fishy going on and I don't fully understand it. So I cleaned it out, filled it with uh, tap water and tried it and it didn't do anything. So I figured, okay, maybe the tap water isn't conductive enough and it's essentially just like a broken circuit. I went inside and grabbed water mixed in baking soda and now that is what's in here and I think that's enough to get this thing to work because now like I flick my switch we get four four and a half volts on here and it's running. Now I don't know if flipping the other one does anything like I can't tell I don't know if it's speeding up I have no idea. 
So maybe it was just the electrolyte that was the problem. Which, if that's the case, then hallelujah, we figured it out. Round, like, four or five. And contact. Yeah, there we go. Let's engage the other one. Oh, and it cut out. I'm getting output on the torch. Engage the glasses. Okay. Oh! Oh my goodness! It's such a sm oh! It worked! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my goodness! Look at that! Look at that little, that little. Oh! It's not quite the torch I was expecting, but it is a torch. Ooh, we had a flashback there. There it is. That's such, it's so hard to see. The torch is warming up though. Okay, it's not that hot yet, but it's definitely warming up. Let's see if, holy Oh my God, that scared the hell out of me. Holy smokes, that blew the crap out of the lid. <laughs> what? Alrighty guys, I have a, uh, a new lid for the bubbler Jerry rigged up. I took one of the ones that I messed up, uh, taped the, the nozzle, got it hooked up, so I think we can give this one last shot. Uh, I got the torch here. Let's fire this thing up. Oh my goodness, it's on. Okay. So as you can see, the torch is on. Oh, it's getting hot. Look at that. Ooh, it's working, look. The tip is beating up. Oh! We're doing it! Yes! We're melting copper. Keep going, come on. Wow, this is, this is going. And it happened again, okay. All right, the lid is, <laughs> it keeps, oh my goodness, okay. I think what we can take away from this experiment is that it is possible to split water into a flammable gas that we can use in order to um, melt stuff. Alrighty guys, so here we are, here's the aftermath. Uh, our lid is completely blown to shit. <laughs> we, got, we got like a puddle of water in the bottom here because all the water spliced up. I have it disconnected from the power now, um, just to be safe. Because you know, the hot, hot cables and water, not the best mix. I hope you guys enjoyed this this series, this these two videos. Um, I hope you guys had fun watching me nearly blow myself straight the hell up. It was a really fun project to do, and I learned a lot. I really had to crawl down that electrical rabbit hole to kind of figure out what I'm doing with all these uh, connections and stuff. And yeah, this was wonderful. I can't wait to do it again. And I really hope you guys enjoyed watching the process. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe for more content. There is plenty more to come. I have a new addiction and it's building these awesome, awesome projects. So I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoy the video. Have a good one. Bye bye.